What's up, zombie slayers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my 7 Days of Die single player Let's Play. This is episode 14, and I just want to show you, I've been starting on my mine. Um, it's about, I think, 18 or so blocks uh, down. Uh, we're going to get to work on that uh, during the night, tomorrow night. Uh, as you can see, it is the morning. And I have heard some zombies outside uh, chewing on my place a little bit, so we're going to go check that out in a moment. But I also want to show you what I've been up to in the attic. All right, I've been uh, crafting a bunch of uh, stone axes. Uh, I got a forge going. Um, what did I make out of the forge? I made forged iron. I made a full set of steel tools. And uh, yeah, so that's going pretty good. And then over here, I've been doing some organizing. Got food, health. Um, that's going to be uh, eventually explosive type things. This is guns. I'm not going to wait until the last minute to organize things anymore. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and make... A, well, hold on. Um, yeah, we can make it, sure. To hell with it. All right, let's go ahead and make a blunderbuss. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make a blunderbuss, so we're going to go ahead and make a blunderbuss right now. I have already gone ahead and made a bunch of ammo for it. I got spikes. Let's go outside and see what's going on with the spikes and sure up this building a little bit. You guys have been, uh, a bunch of you guys have been lamenting. I've been doing too much looting and stuff, but you got to understand, like, this is a looting game, you know? Um, a lot of this game is going to be looting. I will try and do a little bit less of it, but I don't want to do it off camera, and I don't want to... Um, I have to do it because I need to find certain things. So I'm sorry if you think I've been doing too much looting. I will try and... I will try and uh, do a little bit less looting and a little bit more building in uh, some upcoming videos. Alright, so let's go ahead right here. Okay, that was pretty risky. But, alright, so we got a little stupid crawler here. He's getting on my nerves. And now he's dead. Oh, look at that. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, let's go ahead and chop him up. Apparently, if you chop these guys up in 14.6... No, this is not 14.6. 14.6 um, apparently um, fixed the 7-day hordes, but uh, it also broke them again. <laughs> there was 14.6B and then some other 14.6B and the second B basically broke the hordes again. So I find that comical that the, um, well, comical and sad, but you know, not sad for them, but just sad as in those hordes aren't fixed yet. And I really want you guys to, you know, those people are in problems with the hordes. I would like for that to be fixed for you guys. All right. So where did my blunderbuss go? There we go. So blunderbuss is made off of gunsmithing. Okay, that's why it's not such a great blunderbuss. It's still pretty good. The thing is about the blunderbuss is we're going to be shooting this to up our shotgun skill. Um, also, it does have an effect called winded. That's 80% chance, I believe that means. Um, and basically, winded means it slows down the enemy. I'm not sure for how long, but that's why it's so good against dogs. Alright, so... Oh, here we go. Well, let's try it out. Here we go. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, that's nothing I couldn't have done with the crossbow, or even the bow, for that matter. But, again, this does get my shotgun skill up. The only bad thing about using the blunderbuss is that it will use up paper, and that's going to be bad for us moving forward, um, you know, as far as paper goes. But anyway, our the things we're going to do for today, we're going we're gonna to clear out around this building. We're going to put down some spikes. I would like to go to Dyersville at some point and um, lay out the plan. For Dyersville, I've not told you guys the plan. I've, I've teased it quite a bit, but I have not told you guys the plan. And I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and get a bunch of uh, grass here because I do want grass to continue upgrading my tool skills. Plus, I want to put down some more spikes. Um, oh, screamer. No, that's not. Oh, yeah, the screamers sound just like the uh, the spider zombies. So, man, that didn't even stun him. It's okay, we're, just, we're doing this to get our shotgun skill up, so it's irrelevant. Yeah, you have to duck when you want to shoot the screamers. Uh, the screamers and the... Sorry, I keep calling these guys screamers. The this, this spider zombies and the crawlers, the guys who are walking on their hands and knees, um, you want to kill them while ducking. That's how you do it effectively. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some, uh, get some grass here. All right. When you guys get attacked, you have to, you want to take out these corpses because uh, the corpses that the zombies leave behind will up the heat in the area. Uh, now I know a lot of you guys are new to this game. Uh, maybe 
the game's coming to console in June. You, maybe we got a, a lot of new people looking into the game, so I'm going to be explaining some of this stuff um, that might be, you know, commonplace to us new players. Or to us, uh, uh, not new players, but uh, us veterans. But um, basically, there's a, there's a mechanic in the game called heat mechanic. It has nothing to do with temperature, uh, although there is a temperature mechanic as well. But this mechanic is basically, anytime you do certain things, you will up the heat in the area. Um, uh, how to explain this now um, basically what will happen is when the heat in the area gets up to a certain temperature uh, zombie screamers will come in um, they're like little like they look kind of like the witch in left for dead um, and and I guess we're not going to fix this. Uh, and what will happen is the screamers will come in and if they see you they'll scream and bring in a giant horde uh, well, not so much a giant. Well, as of right now, it is a giant horde. The, the fun pimps are actually going to change up the mechanic a little bit. As of 14.5, they call it a giant horde. Uh, the horde will be different depending on the, the, the time of day you're playing. We're going to need more of these spikes. Uh, the horde will be different depending on the time of day you're playing. Um, but, you know, for me, it'll, it'll be a horde. I'm not sure this size, but they're a pain in the butt. Uh, and if it's late in the game, there'll be a really annoying giant horde with special zombies in it. Um, so you want to avoid that at all costs. Now, the screamers will come in, and if they see, like, your house or your base or anything like that, it doesn't matter. Um, they don't, they won't scream about that. They'll scream, basically, when they, when they see you. So if the screamers come in, you kind of want to just stay away from them. Um, you could probably snipe them, maybe, if you want to try and kill them. Uh, if you want to just have some fun, you could always probably just kill them. But, uh, you know, you don't really need to. Uh, you can just stay doing what you're doing. Probably, probably you'll be mining or something and, and, you know, stuff like that. So what brings in the screamers? Well, what brings in the screamers is, um, building in the area, cutting down trees, um, having zombie corpses. What, what, a the major things that call in screamers that build up the, that build up the heat in the area is forges and campfires. Um, if you have forges and campfires going co continuously, like three of them or whatever, you know it's gonna it's gonna cause a lot of heat. You're gonna get a lot of a lot of a lot of screamer zombies. Now, should you, you know, cook less or use these items less because of the zombie, uh, because of the uh, the screamers? Eh, I wouldn't. I just I do what I'm gonna do. I, I'll deal with the screamers when they come. Um, I wouldn't let it worry me, but I mean, if worse comes worse, you just put spikes around your base. They'll spawn a little bit away from your base. They'll wander towards your base. They'll die on the spikes and GG. So you're good to go. But yeah, but if they see you though, they're going to, they're going to scream. They're going to call a horde. Now they're talking about changing the mechanic of the screamers to, uh, a little bit different. Basically what they do is it'll be kind of the same, except that they see you, they'll call in hordes, like hordes of zombies, like five at a time, every 20 seconds. So you'll be like doing your thing and a, and a screamer will come in and the scream will see you. And then she'll scream in 20 seconds and if you don't kill her. And every 20 seconds after that, continuously calling in more zombies. Uh, she, she doesn't call as many zombies as she used to, according to, you know, Mad Mole. Uh, Mad Mole is one of the main developers on the site. Um, well, in the forums, which is where I get all this information. <clears throat> but she'll, you know, as the days goes on, the hordes will get worse and worse, obviously. So... And right now what I'm doing is I am spiking up, getting ready for the Day 14 Horde. Again, new players, uh, every seven days you'll get like a Super Horde um, that'll get worse and worse. In that will grow in intensity as the days go go on. The Day 7 Horde will be... Um, the Day 7 Horde will be... You know, you've seen that already. Um, the Day 14 Horde will be like that, except, except more powerful. And eventually, starting at Day 21, you'll start getting Cops. And, like, as it goes on, you'll eventually get ferals. Cops are, like, these really fat, strong zombies that will puke acid at you. And if they get close to you, they'll blow up. And, and basically, if they get close to you, and like, they'll probably blow you up and one-shot you. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty bad. They'll explode on your walls. Do a lot of damage. So, starting on day 21, you want to start using um, better spikes. There's two kinds of spikes in the game. There's woodlog spikes and there's regular wood spikes. And you could use the regular wood spikes on day 14 if you like. Definitely on this day. Oh, excuse me. Definitely on this, on day 7. But um, starting on day 21, you want to start using the bigger spikes. Bigger spikes do less damage, which is kind of annoying. Um, but they last longer. The thing is, you can upgrade the bigger spikes. And you're going to want to upgrade the bigger spikes. For sure. Okay. Alright. So that's uh, that's what I'm doing. You can also fix these spikes. 
Which is pretty cool. I don't usually fix them, though. You could. You could fix them if you want. So it's probably a good idea. I'm just, I'm too lazy. Can't be bothered. This house is going to get hammered on day 14. These spikes are not adequate. And I don't think I'm going to waste metal on overhangs. Um, what I'll probably do is I will use the wood frames as overhangs. Um, why do you need overhangs, you might ask? Well, you need overhangs because um, the spider zombies, the ones I just fought um, before I, you know, before I took a break, um, the spider zombies are, they can climb walls. Um, so you just need an overhang to negate them. So basically what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put a bunch of these, uh, wood frames along my entire house. Like, like this. Like that. That'll protect me from the spider zombies. Probably don't have to fight the day, day 14 horde. I probably won't. Or maybe I'll use my arrows on them if I have any arrows left. But, uh, I don't like wasting ammo on the, on the day 7 and 14 horde. Um, although I guess the arrow, I guess it's, see, it's... I guess there is a reason to shoot at these hordes because you're going to want to up your archery skill. So you got to shoot at them. So uh, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I should be shooting at them. We'll see. I'll probably shoot at them. It'll make a more entertaining video too. All right. So the spikes are completely done. So we're going to go scout Dyersville for those of you people who are um, sick of Mount. Well, uh, now, nah, you know what? We'll scout Dyersville next episode. I want to, I want to continue building here. All right, so what we got to do is we got to get this thing all the way around. There we go. Got to get this overhang completely around the house. There we go. It's a little tricky when you're kind of at the edge. Kind of stand on the edge and you just keep left right clicking. And it's not working. There we go. That works. This shot might be a little low, actually. Yeah, you know what? This might be a little low. Let's let's raise this up one one level. There we go. I don't want the wood to be too low, because then maybe the zombies will be able to beat on it. You know, and take it out, and then the spider zombies will be able to come up. If you've been watching this let's play from the from day one, you'll know that I got I got attacked by spider zombies um, on my day seven horde because stupidly I was not I was not prepared. I uh, I forgot to put the overhang around. Luckily, only one spider zombie got up there though, so that's pretty cool. I have a bad habit of calling the spider zombies crawlers or screamers. Spider zombies used to be the screamers. See, a lot of people like ridicule me for when I call when I do things. I like call the spider zombie screamers or crawlers. But the thing is, they do crawl, and they used to be the screamers. They used to be the ones that, that would scream, and they still scream. They just don't call in hordes. So, what are you gonna do? So Dyersville. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do for Dyersville. I've been I've been teasing you guys with the Dyersville build. I've got a really cool Dyersville build, and um, I think we're gonna talk about it now. So what I'm gonna do for Dyersville is I'm gonna go into Dyersville and I'm gonna I'm gonna find one sturdy brick building, um, a brick building with a lot of build as many buildings around it as I can find, and then I'm gonna make that my base. I'm gonna I'm gonna tear out the wood. Oh no, I should use a wood building, shouldn't I? No, brick goes right up the right up the um, concrete, doesn't it? Yeah, never mind. I'll pick a I'll pick a brick building, and brick goes up to concrete, so that's cool. So I think I might need some cobblestones for that though. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pick a brick. Oh, one second. This has gotten really, really hard to do. Come on, come on! I'm pressing the button. Damn it. You know what else? You know what? You know what? I'm pressing the button, but I'm also standing in the exact space that the button's being pressed in. So I gotta, I gotta actually climb down there. Oh well, I'll work my way around on this side. Anywho, um, so yeah, so I'll pick a brick. I, I will pick a brick building, and I will, you know, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna make it out of concrete, reinforced concrete, two sets of spikes around it. Um, you know, the whole nine yards, the typical build. But then what I'm going to do is, because I want other buildings around it, I'm going to make walkways to other buildings. Which I think is going to be pretty cool. And what I mean is, like, I'll have a building like, you know, one of these buildings, and then there'll be a building, like, over there. And I'm going to make a walkway to other buildings, and then I'm going to spike up 
those buildings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have kind of like modular, um, modular buildings, if, if that makes any sense. Like I'll have a bunch of buildings connected with walkways and I can go from one to the other during the horde night and just drag the zombies all over Dyersville. Like I'll build them everywhere. Like, and it'll be pretty cool because a lot of times, a lot of times this game gets, um, a little stale when you like make a build and then you're done with it. Uh, a lot of people lament that I don't finish my builds. Um, they'll be like, Cage, you build these things and you never finish them. Well, yeah, that's because I never know when the update's going to come. And I don't want to finish them. I don't want to be done with anything because then what do I do? Um, and this will be really cool. This will be like a, a way to build where, you know, I'll basically never be finished. I'll just take over Dyer's with one house at a time. And then and it'll be really cool for the hordes because I'll have like other buildings I can go to. I'll have other buildings I could go to um, to kind of spread out the damage if the building I'm in is taking too much damage. Be really, really. I think it's gonna be a really cool build. Ah, damn it! It's gonna destroy the freaking spikes. Arg! All right. Take that out and put some more spikes down. And then let's try and get out of here without getting ourselves hurt. Actually, you know what? Just jump up here. Take that out and jump off the edge. Perfect. All right, so this is actually almost done. We got a lot, we got a lot done today, guys. We got a lot done. You guys want to see building? There you go. Next uh, video, we will definitely be go scouting out. Go scouting out Dyersville. There will be some looting in next video, but it's not going to be just a looting video. It's going to video. It's going to be scouting out. And I now have the um, the blunderbuss to deal with dogs. I'm going to be mining during the night if I if I can be as lucky to find a. Um, a node under this house. That would be great. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Look at that. Very good, very good. Alright, let's, um... We don't even need to dump anything off, to be honest. Let's go upstairs and get any, uh... What are they called? Saplings? Seeds. Oh, hold on. Never mind. Beer. Use... Look at the smoke. M. Somewhere in front of us. Right around our cave, actually. Alright, let's go. Airdrop, baby! That's what I'm talking about. I also heard uh, Mad Mole talking about the way they wanted to do airdrops um, originally, and I hope they still do this. They want to make different kinds of airdrops, like... The like, do you know the storage crates I have up in my building? Um, basically, th those were put into the game because the fun pimps were going to make different kinds of airdrops. You were going to have a, um, a health airdrop. You were going to have a, a tool airdrop. You'd have, like, a schematic airdrop. And I think that would be so freaking cool. And I really, really hope they do it. Really hope they do it. That would be so sweet. Like, all different kinds of airdrops and stuff. I'm going to have to start hunting, too. I've got, like, no food, guys. And since you, you don't want me to loot... I'm going to have to kill for my food, so. Also, in 14.6, one of the things they did in that update was they, uh, they, they nerfed the amount of food, canned food we're getting from zombies, which, which really needed it. I, you know. Oh, look at this. There's a place up here. I might have to loot anyway, guys. Might have to do some looting. Of course, there's a chicken, but I'm not going to get distracted. Not getting distracted. I'm just looking over there to see if the airdrop landed in there. I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we still got a ways to go. Alright, where is this sucker? Why did I put that cave thing down? You know what, I bet you that's potassium nitrate. We'll probably grab that potassium nitrate before we go back. Oh man, so many animals. This is what the game does to you. They put down an airdrop and then they put a bunch of animals in between you and the airdrop on purpose. Just so you, like, they're tempting you to get this, you know, distracted. Alright, now that's not too much of a distraction. <sighs> Guys, I am blind as hell. I'm running around looking for the airdrop. And I'm like, I, I'm giving up, I'm going home. And I stop right where I'm standing because, hey, I'm overheating. I go over here, I look at my stuff, I'm like, yeah, these boots are kind of insulated, let's take them off. Oh, good. My temperature's going down. What 
the fuck? <laughs> I swear to God, I just stumbled into this damn thing. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Uh, pretty good one. Pretty good one. Uh, we need that. We don't need that, but weapon smithing is a good thing. And that's actually a good rocket launcher receiver. Usually when I get rocket launcher parts, they're always like, they're always like crappy ones, but I'm kind of embarrassed. Like I, I had to show you though, cause I, I knew you guys would get a kick out of that. I basically fell over the supply, the supply chest. Like just, I'm just running around. I'm looking all over. I'm like, I can't find the damn thing. Why do I suck at finding these things? I, I used to be good at it. Now like I'm losing it. And then I'm like, oh, you know, I better stop because I would have I would have walked within five feet of that thing and walked right by it if I didn't like if I didn't want to like uh, you know it was almost like I stopped to tie my shoe. <laughs> you know, it's just incredible. Um, I have been breaking up rocks um, mostly for the mostly for the iron. I grabbed some blueberries from a from a uh, there was a house over there with a blueberry blueberry garden, and now we're gonna go over here and get the potassium nitrate. And then, uh, yeah, uh, Jesus. I was gonna kill some deer, but I don't have a knife on me. I do have bones, but the thing is I can make the hunting knife, so I kind of want to make the hunting knife and then come back and get deer. Although, I'm gonna, it's gonna be the whole night and I'm not gonna have any food. That probably is not gonna work for me. Alright, let's just make the damn shiv. That's a bummer. I didn't want to have to use the shiv. You know what else we need? We need bandages in case we start bleeding. But I don't have any, I don't have anything to make bandages with. Oh well, I'll worry about that when I get home. I always want to have bandages with me because um, I don't want to waste med kits when I'm like when I don't really need to. You know what I mean? So, all right, where is that? How far is that potassium nitrate? Okay, it's kind of far, but not far where I shouldn't be able to go for it. I'm gonna kill some deer. I probably have some meat at my other base. I also have to do some transfers from my other base. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I'd like to do that before day 14 though. Maybe maybe I'll do it before next video. I don't know. We'll see. Guys, I don't know where the hell... Because, like, I keep seeing this white, but that's not potassium nitrate. That's just, you know, cotton. Oh, well. That's my timer. I'm going to find it off camera. I'm going to get the potassium nitrate. I'm going to go home. Uh, next video will be us going into Dyersville and scouting it out. We'll be doing a little looting, but it won't be a total looting video. We're just going to scout out Dyersville and see what we can see. So that's going to be it for episode 14. We'll see you next time for episode 15. Till then, take it easy.